For those of you who missed the last prescription drug roundup, the Reno Police Department has created a simple solution. New prescription drug drop-offs are now at the Reno Police Main Station, Sparks PD, and the Washoe County Sheriff's Office. One of the main reasons prescription drug abuse is so common is that they're so readily available sitting in people's medicine cabinets. And so uh, the first effort that we did was prescription drug roundups twice a year. And we have a lot of people showing up to those and uh, they actually have very large quantities per person because people are just stockpiling their drugs um, for years because they don't know what to do with them. And so in addition to that, we always get calls saying, you know, I missed the roundup or I don't want to wait that long. What can I do with my pills in the meantime to get them um, out of my hands and dispose of them safely. So that was the idea for implementing the drop boxes. Why does it matter? Researchers have found that prescription medication is now the most commonly abused drug behind marijuana among teenagers. All an addict has to do is open a cabinet or drawer at home to get a hold of the dangerous drugs. We started this project a couple years ago to try to kind of get ahead of it and then now it's, it's very talked about. Um, it's kind of the hot topic issue because we've had several deaths, a lot of high profile deaths attributed to prescription drug abuse. You can protect yourself and others by depositing the drugs in one of the boxes. They are conveniently located right inside the police station doors. In previous years, the FDA recommended throwing the pills away or flushing them down the toilet as safe methods of disposal. Recent studies have found that these methods can be harmful to the environment. Some studies started to come out showing that uh, trace amounts of those medications are in the water supply, you know, coming out in the water supply. And that's why the FDA now recommends that you don't flush your prescription medications if you can help it, if you have another method that you can get rid of them. Other arguments are that expired drugs cannot harm anyone, when in fact, they're potentially more dangerous. Whether or not a drug is expired, it could definitely be abused and could be fatal to somebody who's not taking it as it's directed. You can drop off prescription pills, patches, ointments, samples, medication for pets, and any over-the-counter medications at the police station. The drop-off does not accept liquids or lotions, needles, inhalers, thermometers, or medications from businesses or clinics. The CDC has declared prescription drug use as an epidemic. Do your part in the protection of the community. Come to the next drug roundup on April 28th or stop by the police station and drop off your unused pills today.